Welcome to my channel. This is Online Math TV, where we learn mathematics all the time. Before us here, we have a math Olympiad question, mathematics Olympiad challenge. And the question reads, n to the power of 2 plus 1 all over n to the power of 2 equal to 5, 2, 7. And root n, bracket open root n, minus m, close bracket plus 1 equal to 0. Find the value of m. All right. So before going to today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. Because at Online Mass TV, we drop wonderful videos all the time, ranging from Math Olympiad challenges to other international exams. Okay, so let's take today's challenge. Now, let's put down our solution. So we take here solution all right now if you look at these two equations we are asked to find m and in finding m we are to work with the first equation and make the equation to look like that of the second equation and from there we draw our comparison and so so let's put down the first equation so the first equation which is your n to the power of 2 plus 1 all over n to the power of 2 equal to your 5, 2, 7. Okay, so what we do here? Now, if you look at your right-hand side of this equation, it's not a perfect square. So we have to try to make it a perfect square. And you discover that if we add 2 to this, this will give us um, 5, 2, 9. And 5, 2, 9 is a perfect square. So we add 2 to the left-hand side of the equation. But according to the law of Quality it says that whatever you do to the right hand side, you must do to the left hand side. I believe you are familiar with that law of equations. So we do that to both sides. So adding two to both sides of the equation, this will now give us here your n to the power of two plus one all over n squared plus two equal to five two seven plus two. And so we end up having n to the power of 2 plus 1 all over n squared plus 2. This is equal to your 5, 2, 9. Good. So we now have this as a perfect square. So what are we doing next here? It is easy. We can now rewrite the left-hand side of the equation and also the right-hand side of the equation. From binomial expansion, we can write this as our n plus 1 all over n r to the power of 2 equal to your 23 r to the power of 2. Okay? I would as well simplify this down, how we come about this very expression here now. But most of my viewers always complain of the time I spend explaining. Okay? So let's keep this part now. So from here, this can cancel out this. So if we have that, then our equation will now becomes, or this now implies your n plus 1 all over n equal to 23. Easy. Good. So what do we do next here? All we need to do is to uh, make this equation again a perfect square. And how do we do that? This is 23. If we add 2 to this, that will give us 25. And 25 is a perfect square. Again, so let's add 2 to both sides of the equation. So this will now give us n plus 1 all over n plus 2 equal to 23 plus 2. So we're going to have this to be your n plus 1 all over n plus 2 equal to your 25. Wow! So this is a perfect square. At the same time, the left-hand side will now give us a perfect square from binomial expression again. Okay, all right. So the left hand side of our equation, if you look at it critically, we can rewrite this as we can have this as the square root of n plus your one all over the square root of n, then close bracket, bracket all squared equal to your 25 could be written as 5 r squared. Okay. All right, so if you use binomial expansion to expand this, you come up with this. Again, this, this will leave. So we are now left with our square root of n 
plus 1 all over the square root of n, okay, equal to our 5. Good. We are almost there. Now, with what we have here now, move this constant to this side of the equation. So, if we do this, we're going to have this to be the square root of n plus 1 all over the square root of n minus 5 equal to 0. Now, like I told you, the aim of this expression or the aim of doing this is to make sure that we express the first one here, which is this expression here, the first one, is to make sure we express the first one, the first equation, in form of the second equation. So let's go ahead and see what we have here now. So from here, what we do, let's clear off this denominator, the square root of n. So let's multiply through by the square root of n. If we do that, we're going to have this to be um, the square root of n times the square root of n plus, here we're left with 1, then minus 5 into the square root of n equal to 0. Because 0 times anything will give us that same 0. Okay, so what we do here is simple. Bring this minus 5 root n to this side. So this will now give us the square root of n, okay, times the square root of n, then minus 5 into the square root of n, then plus 1 equal to 0. Now, from this expression I have here now, I want to factor out the square root of n. So if we do that, we're going to have here the square root of n bracket we use this to factor this, to divide this, we're going to have here the square root of n minus, and if we use this to divide this, we're left with 5 plus bracket plus our 1 equal to 0. Good. Now take a look at this equation you have here now, and take a look at the second equation we have here, which is our this. They are similar now, right? And we got this from the first expression we have here now. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare, okay? So now let's compare the two equations. Now, comparing coefficient, can I say here, yeah? comparing, comparing coefficient, comparing coefficient. So let's write out the first equation. So we have here your square root of n, bracket the square root of n minus m close bracket plus one equal to what we have here now which is the square root of n bracket the square root of n again minus five okay close bracket plus one okay so if we look at these two equations now discover that your n is equal to the square root of n is equal to the square root of n the square root of n is here, square root of n is here, minus m is here, minus 5 is here. Here we have 1, here we have 1. So this now implies that your minus m equal to your minus 5. So this cancel, this cancel. So when I have here m, therefore, is equal to your 5. So this is the value of m as we are asked to find from our original equation is a find the value of n so this marks the end of this math olipet challenge if you've learned something from this challenge give the video a thumbs up or you have a better way of solving this also drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you because here we are open to criticism and also we are ready to unlearn old habit to learn new habits okay so again this is all i must tv and my name remains jigs animal remember i love you and everyone at Online Mass TV loves you because you are always there. You have encouraged us in the time past and you are still encouraging us. We are proud of you. We pledge to give nothing but the best. Bye for now.